Have you ever just met somebody that you completely admire, whether that be an author, a celebrity, a YouTube star, and nothing comes out of your mouth? Hi, it's so nice to finally meet you. Well, it's lovely to meet you too. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah! Uh, um... Help me. I'm here to help you with that. I've been getting a lot of questions about how you interact with celebrities because I gave you guys tips on what to do at events and how to present yourself, but I never actually told you what you should do when you just shut down. I live in Southern California and I'm in and out of LA a lot of time for my work that I do with Page to Premiere so I don't necessarily do these things as fans anymore but I was a huge fangirl for Twilight. Like Twilight hit at the exact age for me and I just did everything that I could. I've been a fangirl and I've witnessed fangirling or fanboying and I've not been able to talk to people or celebrities even when it's my job to do that. So. Hopefully some of these tips will help you and you guys will remember these when you go up and you meet someone that you really, really adore. My first frequently asked question is how do I secure a spot for a signing? When you go to meet a celebrity, you're either doing a signing, a meet and greet, or some type of place where you are there to meet that celebrity. And a lot of those times, those events have been anticipated by so many people. How do you secure your spot? You get there early. I mean, that's a given, right? I don't think anyone has been awarded a pass or a good job if you get there late. This might mean that you have to get there like at four o'clock in the morning or you might have to camp out for five days. I did that for Twilight. Now there are those events where you pay to get a signature or a photo with somebody and that is probably where you're most likely going to meet a celebrity that you adore. When it comes to first come first serve situations, you have to get there early. If you aren't there early, be prepared to be disappointed because a lot of these times these events have cutoffs and if you don't make it inside that like first 500, then you aren't going to meet them. What do you do when you finally get up, you've waited all this time, and you meet that person that you've been just waiting to meet. I want to be mainly focusing on when you go to a signing or a meetup. My number one tip for when you finally meet that person is know your goal. Now you are going to these events because you're doing it for yourself because you love this person and you love seeing them on the screen and you want to see them in person. They're usually quite beautiful but the reality of the situation is you're only gonna get like one or two minutes with them and then after that you're done. That's it. No more. So your goal could be I want to tell them something personal that they've influenced in my life or you could just want a selfie or you just want a hug or you want to talk and selfie and hug all three of those at once. Only very lucky people get that because <laughs> security, oh man. If your goal is you just want to talk to them, this is something that is very difficult for a lot of people. You're in a weird situation. You know all about that person and they know nothing about you. If you are going to meet an actor or if you're going to meet a YouTuber because YouTubers nowadays are pretty much celebrities. Now to prevent you from just blanking out, just speak to them. Like say something. It might be embarrassing but it's better than not saying anything. Let's be real here. Celebrities are not normal people. No matter how much tabloids like to say, oh look at these celebrities doing normal things, they really aren't. Their lives are out there for all of us to pick apart. They are numb to these sort of situations. They do and meet fans all the time. You will get those few celebrities, actors, YouTubers who are super down to earth and who are just super easy to speak to. To speak to these people, like I said before, if this celebrity has somehow influenced your life somehow, 
do share it with them. I'm sure that they would love to hear it, even though they get asked about what was the craziest fan encounter that you've ever had. They remember those crazy situations, especially if they're really bad, but they do remember how they have helped certain humans in the world. These people aren't doctors, they aren't saving lives, so it is nice to hear that they have somehow helped someone's life. Another way to break the ice and get a conversation rolling is if you gift something to them, which I know sounds horrible that you shouldn't have to gift anything to anybody, but in my experience, when I have given a celebrity something, you know, homemade, handmade, that actually is nice, or I show them a funny picture, it usually gets the best reaction out of them and it usually makes for a great story. All you're doing at these events is making memories and retelling stories. They aren't the most satisfying situations, but they'll make for a happy memory and something that you can look back and giggle on. In a lot of these situations, the celebrity is sometimes sitting down on a table because they're signing a poster or something, and you really only have time for a conversation. If you want to be ballsy, you can ask for a selfie or a hug. I mean, the end goal is to get a selfie, right? You want a selfie so you can share it on Instagram. I mean, what's the point of meeting a celebrity if you can't get a picture with them to just show everybody, right? Right? Most of the time, celebrities have been warned by the people running the event or their publicists that they are not allowed to take pictures with people because it will slow down the event. Now, how many people are at the event determines your chances of a selfie with the actor slash YouTuber slash musician. And when that person is sitting behind a table, it's really super awkward because sometimes they have to lean over or you just turn around and take the picture and it's just really weird. Like you just get a picture with somebody who's like not even close to you. If you've ever experienced getting a picture with like a celebrity, you are in like such close proximity to like their face and their body. Sometimes you guys are hugging and you have to like stand there smiling for like a couple seconds and it's literally the most awkward like five seconds of your life because you're so close and your mind is just reeling with things because oh you're touching this human that you love. In the past I've gone for a hug. If you go in for a hug it's, it's a nice memory. You know it's a sensory memory. Most of the time people don't ask for hugs. One thing that I've witnessed a lot and that I've seen on blogs and stuff is just people being super excited and yeah it's so exciting when you just stumble upon somebody or you're at a signing but be cool that's my other tip just be cool calm down because or else you're not gonna be able to speak or have that moment a question I like to address which I haven't actually gotten before but is what is the etiquette when you see a celebrity out and about. I realize that there are people over the world who might stumble on this video or who watch my channel, so this might not apply to you because celebrities kind of live in Los Angeles. So it's a common occurrence to stumble upon them. But also, if you're at an event like Comic-Con or uh, VidCon or just like one of those like conventions for a movie or TV show that you love, it's at nighttime and you see them having dinner or you see them just hanging out and talking in a hotel. <sighs> what is the etiquette for that certain situation? It's like a hunting day for fangirls because I know at Comic-Con there are so many people who would just wait outside hotels. When you see that celebrity's like, oh, pray, zero in, I am going to you and we are going to have an interaction. But should you? I know you don't want to hear this, but you shouldn't go up to them unless they are like free and by themselves and they're just walking around and they look to be doing absolutely nothing. If you feel you must approach this person, I mean, I can understand because if I somehow stumble upon Tyler Hecklin, say at like a convention or Comic Con, or he's just, you know, walking the streets of LA, I will go up to them. There is, there's nothing gonna stop me from that. Oh, actually, there probably would be. I would, I wouldn't go up to Tyler Hecklin if like he was with his girlfriend or something, or he was at dinner. That's the worst thing. You can't go up to people when they're at dinner. If you must approach, no pictures. You, there's no pictures. Don't ask for pictures. It's better to have a nice conversation than to just be like, let's get a selfie, and just having it be the most impersonal experience of both of your lives. 
And my last tip for fans when meeting celebrities at events or just anywhere is be safe and be smart because you have no idea who this person is and you don't know what goes on in their personal life because you don't see their personal life unless it's like a YouTuber of course. But even YouTubers edit out what they don't want you to see and what their intentions are. If you are underage and someone over 18 asks for your cell phone number or asks to hang out privately, you be smart and you don't get yourself in that situation. You say no. And to prevent yourself from getting in those situations, bring an adult with you if you're underage. If you're overage, go with friends because no one wants to do these things alone and it's much safer going to these events with a group of people. Recent events here on YouTube has made me look at celebrity culture a lot differently and the people behind the cameras. I thank God for protecting me all through my years of being a crazy Twilight fan because I seriously could have done something so stupid. I'm so happy that he was protecting me all through those years and I'm so happy that I had adults in my life who cared about me and who watched over me. Have fun at signings. You're gonna get disappointed. It's not going to be the most amazing thing that has ever happened in your life because you'll have a lot more amazing things to come, but just have fun, okay? And be safe and be smart, okay? Thanks everyone for watching. Go check out my 5 Life Rules video for fangirls at events if you want to have more tips on what you should do. And if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, let me know because I do enjoy making them. I'll see you on the future. Please keep calm and fangirl on, okay? Bye everyone! Thank you.